Chapter 11 in our textbook is correlation and regression. And the what of what we're gonna learn in this is about positive and negative correlations, that's associations between two quantitative variables. Think about high school GPA and college GPA. But we'll also learn about regression or using one variable to predict levels on another variable. We're gonna do a simple version of this called bivariate where you have just two variables at a time. Although regression is a very flexible procedure and you can build equations that have dozens of variables in them to get a more precise prediction of your outcome. Now, in terms of why we're learning this, well, we're learning it because in certain fields, like for instance, economics, regression is a very, very common method or any time that you're doing a predictive analysis where you're trying to actually say what you think somebody's score on some quantitative outcome is going to be, regression can be the tool of choice. And it's based on correlations. Every time you build a regression model, you're taking correlation at this point, doing something with it, then taking a modified version of correlation and running through with it. It's a really useful general purpose procedure and if you're ever going to work with data, you're probably going to do some version of this implicitly anyhow. And that gets us to the what for. What can you do with this? What are you learning it for? Well, again, anytime you're thinking about the association between two variables, think, for instance, how much time you spend on social media and how happy you are. You are thinking of a correlation. You might say they have nothing to do with each other. That'd be a correlation of zero. Or you can say, oh my goodness, for every hour I spend on social media, I feel this much worse or more irritable. That'd be a correlation of negative one, which is a perfect predictive association. Or if you're trying to decide whether, how much money you're gonna make by working more hours. Now, if you have a hourly job, then hours translate to pay really well. I work this many hours, I multiply it times this, I know exactly what I'm gonna get. If you have a salaried job, however, you are hoping, you're banking on more hours making you more productive in some way, maybe getting a promotion, having a more nebulous and maybe a long-term effect. You can set that up with a regression equation and you might say, well, the correlation's not really big, but I still can predict, for instance, a long-term outcome, what my salary is gonna be next year or in five years. Anytime you're looking at the association between these two things, or you're thinking about how many different things can contribute, when are you happiest? When do you feel most connected to people? You are doing an intuitive version of correlation when you're looking at just two variables, the association, or you're looking at regression when you're trying to think, I know that this will make me happier, maybe this much happier. And so these are great tools to have and the general principles you will find apply in about a million situations.